If you want to have faith in yourself, first you have to feel what kind of connection or relationship you have established with your inner pilot. If it is the relationship of father and child, or mother and child, or lover and beloved, if it is the relationship of two most intimate, absolutely closest friends, then you can expect everything from God. But if you cannot establish that kind of sweet oneness between yourself and God, then how will you maintain any faith if you think he is very aloof, he is the Lord Supreme, and I am just a meaningless creature, then there can be no feeling of oneness. If you think of yourself as a tiny ant and God is a huge elephant, naturally you will say, oh, how can I have any strength or capacity? I am so weak and insignificant. If you think of God as someone who is more than eager to give you what he has, then you will feel the strength that God has is all for me. When the time comes, he will offer it to me. When you have established that kind of feeling, when you feel that your father is going to give you everything that you need, then automatically you will have abiding faith. God the love. There is no such being as God. There is no such being as God the tyrant. There is only one God, and that God is God the love. This God does not punish us. This God is constantly shaping us in his own way. It is he who is the doer. It is he who is the action. And it is he who is the enjoyer, both in the action and in the result. We feel that we are the doers and that if we do something wrong, God will punish us mercilessly. This is not so. It is God's dream that each individual has to manifest here on earth. It is in him, it is his, each, it is in each human being that God's reality lives. If I can always have a childlike confidence, then my Lord Supreme will without fail become my sleeplessly self-sacrificing friend. Because I'm a truth seeker, the future flows towards me. Because I'm a God lover, I live in the eternal now. the power of love. Love is a pure and radiant flame. When we follow the path of love, we find our spiritual life, our inner life most fulfilling. Nothing can be greater than love. Love is life, and life itself is spontaneous nectar and delight. If love means possessing someone or something, then that is not real love. That is not pure love. If love means giving, and becoming one with everything, with humanity and divinity, then that is real love. Real love is our total oneness with the object loved and with the possessor of love. Who is the possessor of love? God. Whom are you loving? We are loving the supreme in each individual. We love when you love the body, we bind ourselves. When we love the soul, we free ourselves. It is the soul in the individual, the supreme in each human being, that we have to love. You can consciously give pure love to others if you feel that you are giving a portion of your life breath when you talk to them or think of them. This life breath you are offering just because you feel that you and the rest of the world are totally and inseparably one. Where, where there is oneness, it is all pure love. When the power of love replaces the love of power, man will have a new name, God.